and welcome to Life Less Ordinary. I'm standing here shivering because uh, up until an hour ago it was almost 30 degrees and now I reckon it's probably about 15. It is really cold, that difference in temperature. Anyway, this afternoon uh, what we are going to do is we're going to uh, put down some compost down, uh, down the back to run a row of uh, common sunflower so that we have um, probably uh, yeah we, we have about five or six meters uh, worth of sunflowers growing uh, down right down there uh, so I'm going to show you how we do that um, and that might be helpful to some of you uh, we are in the well I think it's the 21st of September so we're towards the um, Toward, getting towards the end of September uh, and now is a good time particularly uh, for us in the Southern Highlands so we're a slightly colder climate uh, to be able to put out seeds like this uh, the uh, the frosts uh, we're le lo less likely to have frosts now uh, in fact we've probably had 10 or 12 degrees for our mornings um, at the moment uh, the next couple of days are meant to be slightly colder, but not getting down to that. So now is a good time to start putting these in so that by Christmas time, early January, we should have uh, some wonderful sunflowers to enjoy. So let's get into it. So we're going to come down the back. Trin's got her snacks with her. <laughs> uh, and we are going to put this um, soil down and then put some sugarcane mulch on top. Uh, we are meant to be getting a very uh, hot summer so that sugarcane mulch shall help with that. So I've said in other videos that we've used up all of the compost that's in our compost bay so what I am going to be using uh, is two bags of this active grow uh, and then a bag of sugarcane mulch uh, which I will put um, in a row similar to this one here uh, just this side of it and then we will oh goodness it's so cold uh, and then we will um, put the seeds down in that water it um, with the sugarcane mulch on top so what we've done here is we've just kind of made kind of made a channel because this is all uh, wood chip on top top of cardboard so no, no dig um, uh, and we're going to put down this row of uh, this soil along of here. Um, it doesn't need a huge amount so probably only you know about 10 centimeters worth of soil that's here in this channel uh, that we've made trying to keep it as <laughs> straight line as possible. Um, uh, so we'll do that, put the seeds in, um, and then put the, com uh, the mulch on top. So we've got the soil down and I've uh, just instructed the kids how deep that I want these. So these need to be probably almost 10 centimetres deep. Um, so finger depth plus deeper 
uh, and the distance apart uh, is uh, 15 to 20 centimetres. So what we generally do for that is um, find a stick that's around that size um, and use that as our measuring thing. Um, so something like that. Uh, that way we do our rows the correct, um, each of the seeds in the correct distance apart. One. Yep. Yep, so it needs to go all the way down and then we can cover it back over like that. Yep, good job. And then once they're done, we'll water it a little bit. Um, I don't think it's going to rain, so we will have to water it. Um, and then we will put uh, the uh, sugarcane mulch on top. Uh, Tobes is working from the other end, so I'll get him some sunflower seeds to work from down there. I don't cover it, I need to be able to measure it. So, okay. Would your finger try push me down after you put it in? Because it didn't break down. Some flowers have grow a lot of seeds. Okay. Especially big Russian. They grow like a lot. Alright, so I'll cover this one. But I need to be able to tell how far away it is. Okay. And one for you. Hey, you can have You'll go and just stick up in the family. Alright, did you put one in the sun? Yeah. You'll be very good, stick of fruit. Try not get any of the roots. Oh, where are they? They're family. Yeah, they're family. I'll get over here. The stick of fruit family is called the stick of fruit. And so that's what you can end up in the family. Stick of fruit. Put it in, then when you put it in, trim, put your hand in it. Yeah, and just push it down. So we're just at the stage of putting down the sugar cane mulch. Uh, just a, a fairly light dusting of it on. Okay. Kids are underway doing that. And then we'll get the sprinkler on. So we've now just got it, uh, the sprinkler going uh, to water that um, because we've put in seeds. The soil needs to stay, to stay moist so that the seeds will actually germinate. Um, so that means we will, uh, for the next two weeks at least, have to keep the water up to this. Uh, and again, we've put that sugarcane mulch down uh, to try and ensure that uh, it does help to uh, help the soil to retain its moisture, um, which will aid with germination. So we are really, really looking for, well, I am, <laughs> Really looking forward to having uh, lots of sunflowers, a whole row of sunflowers here um, in the next 15 or so weeks. Uh, and while we will benefit, so will the bees. Thank you for joining us as we live our life less ordinary. Mm -hmm.